Hey guys, this is Editing Chance Hell, and I just wanted to start this off by saying that this has been the hardest video that I've ever had to edit and upload and post on the internet, and it is extremely vulnerable, but I do want to say that I am just so grateful that I have such a large and loving support system here on YouTube. I really, really do thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for everybody who's reached out and gave me their condolences. And with that being said, I do want to put a little trigger warning on this video um, because it does deal with the death of a parent and I cry quite a bit. And so I just want to put that out there and just say that I am just so grateful for all of you. It has been so hard navigating this with social media and I wasn't really sure how to go forward with this because it's so hard to edit it in general just re-watching the day that I found out that my dad died. So thank you again for everybody who has just expressed condolences and reached out just to make sure I was doing okay. I know that most of us have never met in person, but I do feel like I have a really amazing group of people here, and I am just so appreciative of that. So thank you. I'm not going to lie. I really didn't want to post this, and editing it was really hard, but I do want to keep things transparent with you guys, and... You know, death is a part of life, and I just have to hope that my dad is in a better place, and that he is happy, and he's no longer in pain. My dad passed away of a heart attack on April 6, 2024, at 53 years old, and it is very shocking to our entire family. It was unexpected. I mean, he was having some health issues, but, I mean, he was so young. Everybody just thought that he would be able to get it together, and unfortunately, he was taken way too soon from this earth. The grief of losing a parent is something that is really hard to navigate, and I feel like I've just been an emotional mess. My emotions have been all over the place since it has happened. So I just want to say thank you again. And I will understand if you don't want to watch this video because it is pretty emotional and not normally what I would put on the internet because usually if I'm not in a good mood or not in my bubbly normal self, I don't record. And it's been really difficult deciding whether or not to post this. So thanks again, and just know that if you're still here and you choose to watch this video, I do appreciate all of the support and all of the kind words that you guys have expressed. It does really help me in this time because it's been really hard, and maybe in a future video I will talk more about the struggles that I've had to go through with losing a parent, especially because I was so far away from him, and so there was a lot that had to go into it, but if that is something you're interested in, you can let me know, but this is the reality of my life right now, and part of my journey, and part of the journey of life is dealing with loss. And so, I am so sorry if this is triggering to anybody. I know that loss is a universal feeling, and I just, I really appreciate all of you being here. So thank you.
continue on Soda Springs Road for three quarters of a mile. Eating a bean and rice. What are these things called? Crunch wrap? It's supposed to have lettuce on it, but they only put like two slices of lettuce. <laughs> but it's just beans, rice, and lettuce. <laughs> I paid $8 for this because you have to like add the rice, which is like another dollar. <laughs> so silly, but it's really good. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Chantel, this is my basic journey. I live and travel in a minivan with my dog, Joey, and we're currently near Camp Verde, Arizona. If you guys saw my last videos, I was near um, Payson, Arizona, and I originally planned to take this road. It goes up by um, Mormon Lake, and it's supposed to be a very beautiful area, but they were calling for more snow, and the weather was supposed to be in the highs of like the 40s, so I was like, okay. When I looked before going up there, it was supposed to be like in the 60s and sunny, and then it's like snow, snow, rain, cold ass weather. And so I decided to get out of there, and we drove through like beautiful, like forested Arizona. Um, we went through Pine and Strawberry, Arizona on this road. I think it was like 260 West, I want to say. If I'm wrong, I'll put it up here. But the drive was absolutely beautiful. So gorgeous. And there was still snow up there when I drove through, which was really cool. And so we came over here to Camp Verde. And we're up by Montezuma Well. It's really nice. And when I first got here, there were cows right out the window. And I'm like, this is the best neighbors I could ask for. So here we are in Camp Verde, Arizona. We're just hanging out this week. Um... I'm planning to go meet up with people in like a week or so, and so we're just kind of hanging out in the warmer weather. It's supposed to be in the 70s and sunny here, so we are just doing that. So welcome to my channel, and if you're new here, definitely subscribe. Looks like there's some clouds coming in and it got pretty windy so I looked at the weather and there's going to be some rain. I'm happy I got here today because it's supposed to snow tomorrow in Payson and when I looked at the weather it said it was supposed to be nice here and so the storm must be just brewing in out of nowhere but you know that's fine. I'm happy I'm here because the roads are going to be just a straight muddy mess, probably, so. It's very beautiful here, though. We enjoy just hiding in the van because it's cold out now with the wind. I'm hoping the clouds will part a little bit, though. The rain's not supposed to start for a couple hours, so I'm trying to get as much sunshine in as I can into my solar panels. <laughs>
Oh my god. This is so fucking weird. But I feel like... I feel like I have to share it with you because I, I know that my videos are probably going to be a little off for a bit after this. But I just found out that my dad died. I hope you guys will understand that my videos might not be very consistent over the next few weeks while I figure everything out. I don't even know what to do with myself at this point. It has been four days since I lost my dad. And I've been in the same spot since then. I really haven't left the van at all except to let Joey out. My face hurts from crying so much and I really didn't know what to do, what I should be doing. I haven't, obviously, I've never lost a parent before, um, and seeing both of my parents go through it, I just knew there was kind of a lot that was going to be expected of me as the only child to take care of and make decisions on things, and so I've just been kind of dealing with that the last few days, and... I wasn't sure what I was going to do because our family is kind of split up all over the U.S. And a lot of his family is in New York. And his brother is in Kansas City where my dad lived. Uh, and so we are going to go, Joey and I, to my uncle's house. Um to kind of handle the rest of the things with my dad um, and pick him up because we're having him cremated and the ashes are being split between me, my uncle, and my aunt and uh so then after I pick those up and we get some of his stuff, like some of his belongings, because um, he did have a girlfriend who I'm not going to talk too much about, but um, we're letting her keep a lot of like the furniture and stuff. I mean, I don't really want it anyways, so... Um, we're just picking up, like, some of his clothes, and, um, I want one of his Jeff Gordon hats, because he used to wear one all the time when I was a kid. Sorry, vlogging this is so fucking weird. <laughs> but it's almost like, I feel like I have to, because it is my job. And if I don't have something to put up there, then I don't get paid, and my bills don't get paid. And I know my dad wouldn't want that to happen, so. And I do want to be, like, real with you guys and transparent. And this is definitely the hardest thing that I've ever had to go through in my life. And I feel like people who have been through it will understand, like, my emotions are all over the place. 
and I finally found a moment where I wasn't like a complete mess to try to update you guys on what is going on but today since I'm gonna leave tomorrow and start driving to Kansas City from Arizona I have a couple things that I need to actually do so I need to do my dishes and gather up all of my trash and stuff and pack up and be ready to go because it's a 17 hour drive to Kansas City from here and so I'm gonna power through that and I don't know if I'm gonna be recording any of that and going home to my mom's house until I'm like settled in there for a little bit but this is where I'm gonna end this vlog and I will have to catch up with you guys when I catch up with you guys and thank you so much to everybody who's been reaching out and just sending so much love and condolences to me and I feel very supported here on my YouTube channel and I just I really appreciate you guys so thank you for watching and I will catch up with you guys when I catch up with you guys